Up front is Cameron Graham from O1 Moto, one of Sydney's most notoriously supportive dealers. Last year on this same ride, he turned up in pink riding pants. He claimed it was because they were so cheap he couldn't resist. <laughs> we suspect otherwise. His riding gear this year? Last year Cameron was wearing pink pants. This year he claims that colour coordination has improved his performance. Here we see Graham. <laughs> Here we see Mr. Graham in his... In his... Uh, look at this. <laughs> Any comments, sir, on your new uh, colour coordination? Makes me ride like shit. <laughs> when should you grip the bike with your knees? I think you want to grip the bike most of the time. Why? It anchors you to the bike using your much stronger leg muscles. This takes strain off your much weaker upper body muscles and arms. A handy tip is to point your toes slightly inward. This will naturally make you grip the bike with your calf muscles. If you watch Cameron here, you can see on this off camber slope, he occasionally stops gripping the bike so he can move the bike faster to correct any imbalance, which is fine. But once he's balanced again, then the legs grip the bike again. Things become less clear at low speed. As you know, this cross-training channel has a strong trials influence and you never grip a trials bike with your legs. <laughs> you simply can't, there's nothing to grip. If you watch our full lock turns training vid, you can see spreading your legs helps to turn tighter. And in slow technical terrain, you often need to dab with one foot very quickly. So gripping with your legs will probably slow this down. In some cases, you will get two clearly different viewpoints about leg gripping, such as riding over rocky ground. With my limited trials background, I keep my legs wide so the bike can move around faster if I'm unbalanced. And I claimed this was the best way in the relevant training vid. But I've had guys say, no, you have to keep gripping the bike over rocky ground as well for stability. Last night I watched the pro riders riding through the infamous Karl's Dinner at Erzberg. And there seemed to be a mix of styles overall, including some leg grip, others weren't. So who knows, maybe some of these techniques come down to personal preference. Anyway, I'll just keep trying to make the training bids as accurate as possible, but I'm sure there are inaccuracies and grey areas. Blessings upon you. May your knobs always find traction.